Hi, it's Katrina. From creepy demon statues to an entire city with mythological status, here are 10 of the most mysterious archaeological discoveries found in the jungle. Number 10. Mahendra Parvata For hundreds of years, one of the Khmer Empire's first capitals was lost beneath the dense Cambodian jungle. Artifacts suspected to originate from the city turned up every now and again for over 150 years, but it wasn't until 2018 that the location of the city was finally confirmed. Slowly but surely, archaeologists uncovered 600 newly discovered remnants including shrines, a palace, and a pyramid. The city can be found in the Phnom Kulin mountain range and was confirmed in a 2018 study published in the journal Antiquity. An international research team spent five years piecing together the evidence with help from 3D technology and concluded that this was Mahendra Pavarta. Before this, the location received strikingly little attention, according to the researchers, who discovered that the distinctly urban city was arranged in a giant grid, making it one of the era's first engineered landscapes. It seems to have been the testing ground for future cities, with a network of roads and city blocks about a mile long and a mile wide each. There was also evidence of advanced water management systems. It is almost entirely missing from archaeological maps, except as a scatter of points denoting the remains of some brick temples, the team wrote. The Khmer Empire controlled vast parts of Southeast Asia between the 9th and 15th centuries. Mahendra Parvata served as capital during the 8th and 9th centuries, but its power may have been short-lived. Archaeologists suspect that within decades of rising to power, the operations at Mahendra Parvata were relocated to Angkor. The city was ultimately abandoned, and its wooden structures disintegrated and were lost to history, leaving experts to learn about the city primarily from ancient inscriptions, as well as the newly discovered artifacts that helped the study's researchers prove their claims. Another lost city found. Number 9. Maya Palace Early this year, the Mexican National Institute of Anthropology and History announced the discovery of a Maya stone palace dating back more than 1,000 years. Discovered in the jungle at the Culuba archaeological site in Mexico's northeast Yucatan Peninsula, it is located just 100 miles west of Cancun. The palace is part of a large complex surrounded by numerous other buildings, which archaeologists have spent years excavating and restoring. The forest cover has helped to preserve it for all of these years. The palace itself was likely enjoyed by the Maya elite, according to a statement from the researchers. Measuring 180 feet long, 50 feet wide, and 20 feet tall, it contains six rooms and a staircase, and was once part of a larger and grander complex with a large round oven, altar, and two residential rooms. It was inhabited from around 600 AD until 1050 AD, encompassing two overlapping Maya eras, and was an enclave of the Mayan city of Chichen Itza for at least part of this time. Archaeologists also found secondary burial sites at the palace. In other words, sites where bodies originally buried elsewhere were reinterred, and they hope that the remains offer some insight into the site's inhabitants. The discoveries at Kuluba so far represent just the beginning of what archaeologists hope to find there. The Maya suffered a mysterious decline between 800 and 1000 AD, and perhaps Kuluba can help provide us with more answers. And now for number 8, but first wanted to give a big shout out to Richie990 and Zidonius Dragon. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and let me know your favorite discovery in the comments below. Number 8. Garden of Bomarzo The Garden of Bomarzo, also called the Sacro Bosco, or the Sacred Grove, and the Park of the Monsters, or Parco dei Mostri, is located in the province of Viterbo in Italy's Lazio region. Built 500 years ago during the late Renaissance, it is overgrown with trees. Duke of Bomarzo Pier Francesco Orsini, a 16th century patron of the arts and condottiero, or captain in charge of a mercenary company, commissioned the Parco dei Mostri's construction in 1552, following a series of traumatic events. He fought in a brutal war, was captured in Germany and became a prisoner of war for several years, his best friend was killed, he was held for ransom and then after his release, his wife passed away. For a while, he was haunted by demons. He hired the respected architect Pirro Ligiorio to help him create a villa of wonders inspired by his grief. 
In the wooded valley beneath the castle of Orsini, the monumental complex features a series of bizarre sculptures, including a monstrous fish head, a giant ripping another giant in half, a war elephant, a tilted, disorienting house, and an enormous screaming head with a gaping mouth. Orsini left the original trees and shrubs alone and added these creepy, ghoulish things around them. When Arsini passed away, the Sacro Bosco was abandoned, the garden became neglected and overgrown, but was restored after Salvador Dalí created a short film about it during the 1950s. It remains a popular tourist attraction to this day. Visitors can enter the giant screaming mouth known as the Mouth of Hell. The old place is definitely eerie and overgrown, but here you can also experience the dark beauty left behind by Orsini. Number 7. Sigirilla one of Sri Lanka's most popular tourist destinations is Sigiriya, an ancient rock fortress built during the 5th century. Cut into a massive rock column nearly 660 feet tall, it contains a series of passageways, as well as a set of enormous lion's paws carved into the base, features that are fitting for the name Sigiriya, which means lion's rock. Sinhalese king Kashyapa I commissioned the fortress, which served as the kingdom's capital until 495 AD, when Kashyapa was defeated and died. Kashyapa's palace was built atop the colossal rock and was decorated with large, colorful frescoes, possibly depicting apsaras or celestial singers and dancers. There was also a mirror wall, which was so well polished during the palace's heyday that someone could easily see their reflection in it in 495 AD. The site contains elaborate water-retaining technology, and some of these systems still work today. Some of the world's oldest known landscaped gardens can be found here as well. The palace served as a Buddhist monastery during the 14th century, but it was once again abandoned, and the forest eventually consumed the formation, preserving knowledge of it strictly among locals and Buddhist texts. British historians rediscovered the site during the 19th century, after Britain seized control of Sri Lanka, then called Ceylon. Today, it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Number 6. Lost Mountain Temple Stone constructions estimated to be over 1,000 years old were discovered in late 2019 in Nakhon Si Thamarat, a municipality in southern Thailand. Historian Pham Jira Dejwang and his team, called the Explorers of the City of Mountains, made the alleged find, which he believes represent the ruins of an ancient city that was first mentioned over a millennium ago by a Chinese explorer. The site's architecture resembles other nearby ruins, which are thought to date back to the 6th century BC. Included among the structures are several stone walls and heaps of rocks, as well as at least one phallus-shaped rock. Fum and his team were originally tipped off about the site in 2017, but did not find it until two years later, with the help of experts. Thai authorities were notified of the discovery and tasked with authenticating it as a genuine archaeological site. As of now, only a small portion of the ruins have been excavated, and their origin remains unknown. Number 5. A Secret German Village La Cumbrecita, a Swiss-German village in the hills of Argentina, looks strikingly out of place with its German street signs, giant cuckoo clock that greets entering visitors, and restaurants that sell traditional German cuisine. The town's roots date back to 1932, when a German migrant couple living in Buenos Aires named the Kabjolskis began seeking an ideal location for their vacation home. Missing the mountains of their hometown region, they settled for the valley of Calamuchita, which at the time had no roads or vegetation. One thing it did have was a waterfall, which was good enough for the couple. They purchased the large property, began building, and planted lots of trees, including spruces and pines, which are unusual for the region. The couple, whose goal was to make the landscape as Bavarian-esque as possible, leased plots out to others who agreed to construct their homes in a Swiss-German architectural style. Around 1,500 people live in La Cumbrecita today, where the Kabjolski family continues to run the local bar and documents their history as conspicuously as possible. It was very hard for them to build this because I really mean it when I say there was nothing here, Ingrid Kabjolski told The Telegraph in 2017. Roughly 300,000 tourists visit La Cumbrecita annually, stopping to get a taste of its German, Swiss, Hungarian, and Austrian influences. This secret German village hidden by trees looks like a great place to visit once we can all travel again. Number 4. Mayan Megacity In early 2018, scientists discovered tens of thousands of Maya buildings and structures, including houses, defense works, pyramids, 
agricultural fields, and irrigation systems in the thick Guatemalan jungle. Based on the new findings, they estimate that up to 10 million people once lived throughout the region, known as the Maya lowlands. The new estimates suggest that somewhere between two and three times as many people lived here than originally thought, according to Tulane University anthropology professor Marcelo A. Canuto. Scientists made the discoveries using LIDAR, light detection and ranging technology, which detects the presence of hidden structures beneath dense foliage. Altogether, the mapping picked up on around 60,000 structures over an 810 square mile area, including four major ceremonial centers containing pyramids and plazas. Evidence also shows that the land was heavily cultivated in order to feed the Maya Empire's burgeoning population. Their agriculture is much more intensive and therefore sustainable than we thought, and they were cultivating every inch of the land, research assistant Francisco Estrada Belli told CBC. Maintaining the vast farmlands required a massive and highly organized workforce, further indicating that the society was more advanced than it was originally given credit for. The availability of cutting-edge technology is much more efficient than guessing where some ruins may be located and cutting through the dense jungle to reach the suspected site, undoubtedly leading to many archaeological discoveries in recent years. Number 3. The Lost City of the Monkey God an early 2015 research expedition to Honduras led to the discovery of a lost city belonging to a mysterious, previously unknown culture. Long-standing rumors of a so-called White City, also called the City of the Monkey God, and aerial mapping images led the archaeologists into the remote, uninhabited region in the Mosquitia rainforest, where they found extensive plazas, mounds, earthworks, and an earthen pyramid. The scientists also uncovered a collection of stone sculptures that had not been touched since the city was abandoned. The once thriving civilization that built these structures around 1,000 years ago mysteriously vanished, and next to nothing is known about the society or what ended it. Archaeologists don't even know its name. The discovery of the well-preserved and unlooted settlements and artifacts is exceptionally rare, Mesoamerican archaeologist Christopher Fisher told National Geographic. He explained that the cache of stone sculptures, left undisturbed at the pyramid's base, may have been used as an offering. They were discovered with the tops of some of the items peeking out from the earth, and many more were found buried. The collection consisted of ceremonial seats and decorated vessels featuring snakes, vultures, and zoomorphic figures, including a were-jaguar. According to indigenous legend, the White City served as a refuge for native people fleeing from Spanish conquistadors, and those who went there never returned. Numerous explorations attempted to find the city's ruins starting in the 1920s, but the first reliable evidence of its location turned up in 2012, after an aerial survey was conducted using LIDAR technology. The only known person to have supposedly found the site before then had committed suicide, taking knowledge of its whereabouts to the grave. To protect the ruins, archaeologists did not disclose its exact location, but the White City may not remain a well-kept secret for long, thanks to deforestation, which threatens to expose it through the destruction of the rainforest. Number 2. Nazi Hideout In March 2015, the Argentine press reported that archaeologists from the University of Buenos Aires discovered the suspected remains of a World War II-era Nazi hideout that was perhaps built as a last-ditch refuge for German officials as the war came to an end. Located in northern Argentina near the border with Paraguay and the remote jungle of the Teyucuare National Park, the site has long been suspected of having previously served as a Nazi sanctuary. During the 2015 digs, archaeologists found five German coins that were minted between 1938 and 1941, as well as a porcelain fragment that was manufactured in Germany. Apparently halfway through the Second World War, the Nazis had a secret project to build shelters for top leaders in the event of defeat, inaccessible sites in the middle of deserts, in the mountains, on a cliff, or in the middle of the jungle like this, team leader Daniel Skavoldson told The Guardian. The hideout turned out to be unnecessary when thousands of Nazis began relocating to Argentina and received then-President Juan Perón's blessing until 1955. As a result of this welcoming policy, Nazi head honchos like Adolf Eichmann and Joseph Mengel, along with around 5,000 Nazis total, lived relatively freely and openly in Argentina. With 10-foot-thick walls and a watchtower, the hideout indicates that the Nazis planned to flee to Argentina before they knew they had sympathizers there. Some scholars reject the idea that a Nazi hideout exists in the thick, remote Argentine jungle. 
The location has a German history, suggesting that it may have been easy to drop German coins in and around the site to bolster legends of the Nazis' alleged plan. But it was a reality for Nazis to flee to Argentina, and this has been proven beyond reasonable doubt, leaving many parts of the country open to further investigation in terms of their past inhabitants. Number 1. El Mirador El Mirador, a lost Maya city that once served as the civilization's flourishing capital, was discovered in 1926 in the subtropical rainforest of Guatemala. Its ruins are located within the 2,475-square-mile Mirador Basin and were built over 2,000 years ago. At its height, the city was home to tens of thousands of residents and contained plazas and grand buildings. Thought to be the cradle of Maya civilization, it's located just 40 miles from Tikal, another major Maya site that served as the civilization's largest city during its classic period. Both cities are open to tourists, but getting there isn't easy. Most visitors reach El Mirador and Tikal via a several-day donkey ride, camping along the way, although the sites are also accessible by helicopter. Would you want to visit here, or have you? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to go there. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye!